modernity since it came about, first in Europe, then by now during, in the whole world, has something standing features. What is characteristic of modernity? First and foremost, it is distribution through the market, redistribution if there is through the state, and that's a combination of capitalism and socialism, yes. if yeah. I may say so. Second, it's a dissatisfied society, because the first slogan of modernity was every person, every man, woman, are born free. Never before have they uttered this sentence. It was an absurd sentence. One was born a master, the other was born a slave. The moment we said all men are born free, we created a dissatisfied society, because we are not free enough, because some are more free than us. Uh, we are not equally free. So everyone is dissatisfied. Nothing wrong with dissatisfaction. This is what I want to say. Because dissatisfaction keeps our society alive and kicking. Uh, Anyas Heller has just given a wonderful demonstration of what it is to be alive and kicking. <laughs> uh, I, fe I felt the table vibrating under the effect of it. But I, I actually wanted to say something else in response to what Rory said, which I think is very important. He referred to the transfer of populations from small villages to great megalopolis, uh, and um, how this causes enormous disruption and produces in itself a, a search for status of a new kind. But I think I would just like to reflect on the fact that the, the great cities that have grown in the modern world have also brought along with themselves an art and a literature of loneliness. You know, a, a loneliness of a new kind, which you find in, uh, already uh, in Balzac, but also in Flaubert, uh, and uh, of course, paradigmatically, in people like uh, Kafka and so on, in the Central European tradition. Uh, uh, and it's as though our need for each other, uh, uh, which is uh, the thing that is most beautiful in human beings, is suddenly cut off from its from its fulfillment at the very moment when it, when it can be so easily fulfilled by its, in so many ways. And I think this is a most interesting uh, uh, thing to reflect upon. Uh, uh, you know, that, this is the major transition that, that, we have, that, that, that modernity has imposed upon us. Uh, th this mass society where we're surrounded at every point by opportunities, by people, by uh, opportunities of friendship and, uh, and also opposition and so on. And at the same time, there has grown within that this uh, unassuageable core, core of loneliness.